Hello! In this loosening practice for clear boundaries, we're going to explore some shoulder movements that we can just bring in at any time in our day. Um, might be quite relevant, for instance, if we're sitting at a desk working and we feel that we've really caught in our shoulders and they've become tense or stressed or set in our postural positions like this and have actually stopped us feeling anything down below and are keeping us in a very particular place. So that in order to feel that we can access all of our physicality, our body, our boundaries, our access to grounding, if we release the stuff we feel across here, then we have more of a sense of uh, dropping in to listen to things uh, neck down, not just living neck up. So I'm sitting in this position because it's easiest for me to show you. You can sit like this or cross-legged or on a chair, but any position that you can rise up. So if when you sit cross-legged, you tend to collapse down, please do sit on a block or two, and that's uh, appropriate for most people. Or do just sit on a chair, just sit somewhere that you can rise up through the front body and feel open and that you don't hunch down. So then we're just going to come to being here. So not asking too much of ourselves, but just letting your head drop to start. A few moments just collapsing. A few moments just connecting into the breath in the belly. And gently lifting the head. So we're just lifting the breastbone as well as we lift the head. There's a sense that we can float it up onto the shoulders, ears above the shoulders. And just like a little tiny nodding of the head. So here we're rocking the globe of the skull on top of the spine. Eyes as steady as you go, so your gaze can track up and down as your head movement guides. Okay, so that's the motion that moves the skull right onto the top of the spine. It might feel for you that it starts to release the jaw, the pierre to then start to release the shoulders and release holding tension patterns. And as we come back to centre, we're going to let the shoulders rise to the ears with the inhalation. So we know where they can go in tension. So then as we exhale, we drop and we can see the opposite of where they can go in release. So follow that just behind your breath. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Three more of those. Then in the exhale, fully dropping the shoulders without collapsing in the spine or the chest as you go. Lovely. Now we're going to take that a little bit further. Inhaling the shoulders forward and up to the ears. Exhaling them back and down. Let the hands be on your thighs, so your arms are su the weight of your arms is supported, but letting them also be free to move. So your arms are free to move as your shoulders do. Lovely. Three more. Inhaling up to the ears, exhaling down the back. Lovely. Some of those movements that just feels really naturally releasing. It's something that we can do involuntarily certain times. Lovely. Coming back. A few moments of doing nothing. Not fixing, but just breathing, letting everything settle. So then if it feels like there's any natural movement that just comes from that, it might be stretching out the arms, it might be moving through the shoulders in any way that just feels right for you. You follow that. And if that follows into a yawn, let that happen. So it's kind of like, uh, 
motion, stretching in the awning is called pandiculation. And it really releases the nervous system. Love it. And coming back, letting yourself find center of home. Take your chin to one shoulder. Inhale there. Exhale all the way down and round past the breastbone up to the other shoulder. Inhale there. Exhaling all the way down and round without collapsing the chest. So the breastbone is actually meeting the chin. Might not be physically touching, but they're the sense of coming towards each other as we come down. Shoulders staying passive, so we don't need to lift the shoulder to meet the chin. Following the guide of the breath. Exhaling down and round. Inhaling to re-establish rise at the centre. Lifting and coming back to centre. Closing your eyes. Feel the effects. That last movement opens trapezius, big muscle, the top of the back. You can hold a lot of tension, you need a lot of emotional stuff there. So just feeling that resonance. So just feeling that resonance of anything that is rising up, letting it leave on the exhalation as it feels ready. And again, letting yourself have any movements that feel right to you, but feeling from there that you can move into whatever you're doing next with a sense of freedom and space around this shoulder area. Might give you more of a sense of where you are and who you are in this moment. Namaste.